Hey, podcasters and podcast arenas. This is Regular Style Chris reporting from Craft Creative Studios with a new product review for you. And of course, I'm talking to you about today about the uh, Rode Podcaster Pro, the fully integrated podcast recorder in a box. So let's do it. All right, so taking this out of the box, the first thing I noticed when I picked it up, very durable, very solid. We've got four XLR inputs, which is to be expected. I've had that on other recorders, but there are also options to do a USB input to like plug in from a computer. There's also an auxiliary input. So if you want to plug in from a computer or a phone, uh, you can do that. The most interesting input that I haven't really seen in a lot of other devices is the Bluetooth input. Um, I've tried it with both a phone and a computer. It's worked out perfectly, really. I mean, I can add sounds. I actually use the Bluetooth to record sounds to the uh, these pads here, which I'll get into later. In addition to those inputs that I discussed, there's also four headphone jacks, which is great. Uh, if you're recording a podcast specifically, when you have guests come in, um, the other recorders I've used in the past just have the one output. Uh, makes it difficult to kind of monitor your recording while you're doing it. And there's also the option to record this straight to a micro SD card. You can see that port here. Um, you can record to the SD card directly from this device, but you can also use that USB option, plug into your computer and use a digital audio workstation like um, Ableton or GarageBand or anything like that, Windows Movie Maker, whatever you got. All right, so we'll move to the front here. And as you can see, there are a lot of slider controls for just different inputs that you've got here. You got your four XLRs, uh, your USB, your auxiliary, and your Bluetooth. In addition to that, you've got these little pads here that you can assign sounds to that comes with a few default options, uh, but I've gone ahead and uh, recorded a few uh, audio clips that we were gonna use on a podcast recording in the future. Um, under each track, you know, you have the options on these green buttons to either mute or solo the track. Uh, it's really simple. Uh, there's not a lot of options. You just hit the button and now it's a solo track. Uh, but there's also some really cool options under the XLRs that I don't see in a lot of other devices. Uh, the first one being is this microphone. And what you're going to see here is they have a lot of options for different road mics, but they also have options for just general condenser and dynamic mics. And today I'm using a dynamic mic, so I've selected dynamic. The next option you'll see down here is voice. So this takes a lot of the uh, guesswork out of EQing, you know, vocals. Um, then a lot of the adjustments are going to be made in the device, so you don't have to worry about that. It makes it really easy for recording. So you'll see here we've got our level controls. Now, of course, we have a slider, but you also have the digital version here that you can adjust the levels on. And you can also apply phantom power to any mics you might that might need it. All right, and last one is advanced. And you're going to see a number of options that on a lot of machines are, are much more complicated than this. These, it's just as simple as, you know, tapping it on or off. You have your, con, you know, compression, your dynamics, your noise gates. You know, this is going to make it really easy for you to record and not have to guess what it what to do next. You know, the EQing is a big thing. It's very can be very time consuming, and this takes a lot of that guesswork out of it. All right, and the one thing I didn't really get into much before were these little pads here. Um, you can assign your different audio clips to it. You know, your crowd noises, your music your ads, whatever you need for your podcast. So this really makes it easy to produce your podcast using just this device without having to go in and do additional editing. And it's really simple to apply those recordings. You just hit this little music icon here. You see the sounds of the pads. You can actually tap it. You can change the color of the pad here. Uh, and you can also record, you can clear what's on there and you can record new sounds. All in all, I'm really excited to use this more in the future and get, get it more into the features of it. Um, I've recorded one podcast on it. It sounded great, but next time we're going to use these pads. We're going to see if we can do the whole thing in the box. Um, this is going to work out really great for you. It's going to make it really simple. I highly recommend it. Um, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, put them below in the comments. Uh, be sure to subscribe to Craft Creative on YouTube. Find us on Facebook and Instagram. And if you're really, really interested, go to wecraftcreative.com.